Darrow, that's not the afternoon we wanted today, was it? No, we were, we were particularly poor in the first half. I think it took us too long to to get calm in the game. We probably didn't get calm until the second half. We changed the shape and kind of matched them up and, and got Westy wide and George wide late in the game. Um, but the first half, I just thought we were, we were well off the pace. And playing against one of, for me, I said before the game, one of the best teams in the region, and they are. They're, they're a good side, street wise. Some very experienced players, and I thought in the first half that really showed us compared to us. Um, but disappointing for us, but today we reached that halfway stage in, in our own season, 23 games, and we, we sit two points off the playoffs, which we hand in hand. And I think we have to work our mouth today and accept that we got beat by the better team and move on to the next one. You mentioned in the first half it wasn't really at the races. What do you think went wrong in that first half? Did we just not come out of the blocks? Yeah, I, just, I think we lacked intensity. I think we lacked, they were forced to every single ball. Uh, you know, they played through us. We didn't get our own game going, I felt either. We didn't play how we play. I just lacked intensity in that position for us. And, and it's disappointing because we've been, where have we been five wins out of six in the division? We've been in good form. And, and it's this one in that first half performance was, was a surprise to all of us, um, to be honest. A disappointment, but we know as well isn't, it happens and we have to look at where we are, look at the overall picture of where we are now and move on. Two changes at the half then with uh, Mako and Phipsy in from the field. Were you happy with their impact? Obviously it meant that we had to change shape as well. Yeah, we changed to, to, to basically to a 4-4-2. Um, they were lopsided and went well at the start. Um, we just told him he needed to get Mako on pitch. He's, he's, the, he's the highest goal scorer in the division since he's been in here. He's come back from injury, we need to get him back in and back playing. Trips has obviously been suspended, he's been a big player for prior to his suspension. He gives us that height as well. We picked a team that has played ever so well at Christmas for us and I felt that in, the, in that first half it didn't play so well and uh, Fibsy and Mack and him and Tyler did a good, did a good camp for us. Very unusual like us, but we didn't really test their goalkeeper a lot today. But it was some great quality from Westy and Josh, wasn't it? Just like Monday. Yeah, it was a great goal. It was a great move from Josh and a great finish, but like you said, it, it wasn't enough. We just like, like the, I keep saying the same word, that intensity in our way. Running beyond people, running past people, dribbling past people, passing it quick like we do. And we lack any of that today. And, um, and we have to just accept it and own it that it would be a performance that wasn't at the level that we expect ourselves to be at. Um, and we fall. Of course, Woking do sit in the playoff positions. That's where we want to be coming towards the end of the season. What are we going to learn from today as, as you said, they're a top side in this division? Yeah, they're an exercise. I think we've learned more about ourselves rather than them to be honest. We've got to focus on us. We've got to focus on the good bits that, that, that we can produce and the bits that we need to really improve on. And I think in that forward period, we, we can have more or less 45, 46 minutes, whatever it was, of, of not hitting at our level. You can't against anybody. We met a lot of teams as good as Woking. Well, and you give yourself too much to do when you're too down. Even I had, you get in the house on this one day, I still think we've got a chance in the game to, to make some changes and, and shift the team around. But, it was, it was too much to do. Tuesday, we're back on the road then, another chance to pick up three points against Aldershot. It's going to be another tough test, isn't it? Yeah, they'll, I know they lost today at Hampton County, they'll be a team that I find. Like, every, I'm, I'm, you're bored with me saying, there's no easy game for the league, you look across the league, and the league's so open back and tight. And like I said, for us now, we have to take stock of where we are. We're halfway through our season, as I said, we're two points off the playoffs with some games in hand, and now we have to look forward to the second half of our season and keep, keep, keep on.